Open up Firefox. This is how you're going to get it right now. Don't worry about this. This is just my lyrics. Okay? You're going to go to this link right here. Right there. That one. I'll put it in the description so you can get it and everything. All right? No problem. No doubt. And then you go like this. You go to that link. And I'll even download it to show you that it does work so you don't think that it's a freaking um, so you don't think it's a, a, a virus. You go to download now, right? And then you have to wait one minute exactly. You have to wait one minute right there. All right? It might open up a couple of ads, but just close them. Tim, this video is for you, so give me one minute to show you that it does work, and I'll show you exactly how it does work. See, I've already got it open because I'm already working on a song. I'm waiting one minute. I'll skip the video I had, though. Alright, what's up, everybody? We're back at 10 seconds left, and I'm going to show you right now that it's not a virus, and I'm going to also show you how to use record voiceover record and master your vocals so you can get a full performance out of cool edit pro all right so click here to start your download click there now save file wherever it saves to that's your problem right now <clears throat> i'm just waiting for it to download Okay, I got 13 seconds left. Even though I already have it, I'm just downloading it for my fans and my um, my people to know that it does work and that, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. You like my background? That Port Glasgow, that's a huge clip. I just got home from there yesterday, and it was awesome. Anyway, so, let go to here. Run. Now, check this out, guys. It does work. Should be started up any minute. There it is. All right, now you see that it works. I'm not lying to you. There you go. Now see, it, it all works. This is the portable edition, so you don't have to install it, and you can delete it anytime you want, and you can use it anytime you want. All right, now, let load a beat or, or a song into here. In your case, I'm going to do Mayo 8, because this is the song that me and Kim are working on. Okay, so open. <clears throat> now, you want to drag that into your first track. This would be your beat, so name it Beat. Right? This is going to be your first recording, so put Vocal 1. Okay? Now put your high at 2. At 2. Or 2, you know what I mean. Put that at 2. Put this at... Actually, you know what? Put this at... Four, put this put the middle at four and put the first one at the exact same thing as the middle one all the time and the low is your base low is your base so you want to turn that down to minus 10 so you have no bass in your vocal because the bass doesn't make it sound good all right so you want to turn this up to about two for now just till you get it recorded now let record your first vocal right now, let's get it started. Now, this is the life that I want, and this is the life I need. I need you beside me, all because I just need my weed. All oh, shit, my SSC, make my fucking nose bleed. Go cock out when I sniff, and when I'm not high, yeah, go back free. <laughs> Alright. Now, that was just a quick recording, just to show you. Alright? Now, these are your very first vocals now. Okay? Now, mute this. Take a listen. And if it doesn't sound right, mess with these. Mess with these and these. This is your uh, speakers. So 
Left is like your left speaker, obviously, and right is your right speaker. Usually I put it at 30 or 25 whenever I want to put them on a different speaker. We'll get to that later. All right, now these are your voiceover. Voiceovers are the exact same thing as your first recording, just another take. Now you want to put them the exact same thing as your first recording. So you put it all the same, and then you record again. Yeah, like you say whatever you said on your first one. All right, now you do that, and then you do another one, a, a third take of voiceover. This is what I do. I use three. I use three tracks when I record, no doubt. Or sometimes I only use two because it sounds great with two. But okay, now your voiceovers. You'll want to put the, your first voiceover left 30, and then your second one right 30. But yeah, that's how you do it. All right, now let get to. Let's do this. Now, when you have them all recorded and all good to go and they sound all right, you go like this. You highlight them all like this. You right click. You hit mix down to file, which is the very top one. And then it will do this. It will, it will mix down all your recordings into one recording. And then you hit this to go back to the multi-track view. And you go here. You put mix down. You slide that here. Line it up with your highlighted section. And then you can delete these, your old ones. Because now you have all your recordings in one recording, in one mix down. Now, now you should be able to hear all your recordings in one. So you go like that and you... Alright, now this is how you master, Kim. Pay attention. Here we go. Now you go to it, you double click on it, left double click, or you can just go here, whatever. This will switch you back and forth. Okay, now you highlight your whole recording. You go to effects. Then you go to, um, you go to, you, you highlight an uh, empty part where you're not singing or breathing. Because if you do this, it'll, now you go to hiss reduction. And you go here, make sure you have an empty part right here. Or else you're gonna cut out your own voice. You hit get noise floor preview. If the hiss sounds reduced, then that's right. Now you select the whole thing, do it again. But this time, don't hit get noise floor. Do not hit it again. Just hit OK, and then it'll take out the hiss out of all of your recording. Okay. And then you go to amplitude, and you go to right here, dynamic processing. And then you go to very fast attack, which is like the, the fourth one down. And you hit OK. This will level it all out so your voice doesn't jump up and down when you're recording. Then you go to amplify. And you go to 6 dB boost. And you hit OK. That will turn it back up to regular. And then you go down to filter. You go to FFT filter you go down and you see the where it says mastering you hit heavy and narrow make sure you hit heavy and narrow or else it won't sound right because they're all different this one right here is the best one to you you hit OK now your stuff is mastered and ready to go so whenever you turn the volume up as loud as you can it won't crackle it won't hiss it won't do any of that stuff and it'll sound great on any computer and to save it, you go like this. You go back to here, you right click, hit select entire wave, and then you go to file, you go to save selection, and instead of wave, you want to make it an MP3, an MP3 Pro FHG. And you save it to wherever you want to save it, and you hit save. I'm not going to save it though, because I don't want to. And then you just send it over to me. All right, there you go. You're welcome. No problem. I'll do this again if you need it. Kim, the link is in the, the description. Just follow the video and you'll be all right. You're welcome. This is Little Bam Bam. If you need to contact me, you can contact me at this.